Range of probabilities, example one. So question A, a box contains blue and red marbles. If the probability of selecting a red marble is three over five, what is the probability that you will select a blue marble? Now, we mentioned before that all probabilities add up to one. So what that's saying is if I've got the probability of getting a red marble plus the probability of getting a blue marble should equal one when I add them up. So the probability of getting red is three over five. So what would I add that to to get one? And some of you might have recognized straight away that probability of getting a blue marble would have to be two out of five. As if there's three, if three out of five of them are red, technically two out of five of them should be blue. Okay, now the way of working that out is actually done by going one minus the other probability, which would have given you two over five. Let's look at question B. A bag contains red, blue and yellow marbles. The probability of selecting a blue marble is one third, so the probability of blue is one third. And the probability of selecting a yellow marble is two-fifths. What is the probability of selecting a red marble? Probability of red, we don't know. But we do know that when you add up all the probabilities, it should equal one. So what are we going to do here? Well, first of all, I'm, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm, I'm going to add up the two fractions, one third and two fifths. And I'm just going to use my calculator. So one over three plus two over five equals 11 fifteenths. Okay, so that means 11 fifteenths plus whatever the probability of red is should equal one. And when you get to this point, you you can quite easily see that the probability of getting red will be 4 out of 15 in order for it to add up to 1. If I'm to do it the proper way, you're supposed to go like this. You're supposed to take the 1 and subtract the other probability, which will equal 4 fifteenths.